<laughs> oh, sir, how can I help you? Well, as long, you know, I want to be honest with you. I, I've enjoyed my stay these last few days in your hotel. Great. Um, clean place. But I'd be a liar if I didn't say I have a few complaints. We hate hearing this. We hate hearing this here. What I know. I know. Um, well, I got a couple. Hope you got a few, uh, some time to, you know, to memorize all this because uh, you're going to be here for a while. First off, the faucet. What about the faucet? It don't work. Um, turn on the hot water and it's cold. Turn on the cold water and it's cold. Turn on the medium water and not only is it not medium, well, but... It's gonna, it's gonna be cold, sir. No, no, you're not listening to me. Not only when you turn the medium water on, is it not medium, but bugs come out. So I'm basically... What I'm, else would you expect? I would expect for the water to be the temperature that I select it to be. Hot water, hot, cold water, cold, medium water, medium. There ain't no cockroach <laughs> oh saying God. on a no. motherfucking <laughs> faucet, you no. fool. You're an idiot. <laughs> How am I an idiot? Because I don't want cockroaches... Coming out of my faucet. Have you been to any other hotel in your life? I've been to many hotels. And you've not had roaches come out of your faucet? Uh, not until I came to this. You've this. not had only cold water come out of your faucet? Uh, I've had that, but I haven't had the cold cockroach situation. That's a miraculous situation, I assure you, sir. And you know, you know, if, if it was just that... I could forgive you. Seriously, sir. But when I turn the air conditioner on, I hear a rickety, crickety, crickety, crickety madness. Like, there's a whole bunch of little, small, uh, Indian in the cupboards running around kicking shit around. Like, little soccer balls in, like, a little storm drain. Just kicking yeah, shit that's around. That's not what they are. They're rats. Well, that ain't better at all now, is it? The rats? Little Indian in the cupboards? I don't care what you call it. That's not acceptable. In the air conditioning? Yeah, in the air conditioning. And don't even get me started on what happens when I turn the heater on. We'll probably get to that eventually. But I'm still on the goddamn air conditioner. That's what I'm still concerned about. What is your name, sir? My name is Mr. Stoddard. Okay, Mr. Stoddard. Uh, that's, a, that's a name that should strike fearness into your heart. It does not. Not only into your heart, but in the heart of your future children, and honestly, in their future grandchildren, if you really want to be honest. The rats serve a purpose, sir. And what's that? To piss me off? Cheese. Okay, well, where is this cheese? Because you mentioned cheese, but I haven't seen any cheese. But I've seen rats, but I haven't seen cheese. Cheese well, is in the air conditioning. The cheese is in the air conditioning. Yeah, so it'd be hard to Does that account for cheese. some of the pitter powder that I've heard? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The apartment smell of cheese. What about? Okay, out. okay, okay, okay. Just shut up. The decaying dead body carcasses that are in the mattresses. Are you trying to tell me there are dead bodies in the carcass? No. In the, what I, is I'm your sorry. problem? In the mattress? What is your next problem? Like, I didn't even bring that up. And you're what just, is your next problem? Uh, I will guess I'll tell you, because I didn't even bring that up. Um, the concurrent blood and cum stains all over the carpet. Kind of a, kind of a big deal for me. And that goes with the dead king body carpet. Um. So you're, you're gonna, you're basically gonna rationalize the shitty motel management by saying it's okay to have blood and cock and cum stains all over your fucking hotel room floor. And don't even get me started on the room service at this place, which is fucking atrocious. Excuse me? Yeah. I called, I believe her name was Julaine. Uh, Julaine's the worst. Yeah, you, and you got a nice story. sounding, pretty little black girl. Yeah, Sounds she, like she's from North Carolina. I don't know. She's the worst. One of those Carolinas, but yeah, she we're, said we're, she was getting, to get rid of her. I was getting my macaroni pasta at 9 a.m. last night, or excuse me, 9 p.m. last night. 
I didn't get it. Um, it's 9 a.m. now, three days later. Well, and I still haven't gotten it. Well, I apologize about that. Okay? You that's, should. That's atrocious. Uh, this whole and stay in this she, fucking hotel she, has been a fucking what disaster. What's her name again? Jelaine. 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 Julie Loon. J June Bug. You. Some, some black you, shit like just that. You. Yeah, you're staying right there anyways. You. Yeah. You're talking about her? I don't know. They all look alike. You're right. It might be Janice. Uh, it was Junebug, I think. I'll get rid of one. And then I turn the TV on and I flip it to Channel 69, and it's just a guy that looks like me who says, Hey, you're a fucking loser to me as I'm looking at the TV. And I'm thinking, Am I in some kind of goddamn motherfucking Twilight Zone episode? He just says, You look like a fucking fool. And all of a sudden, I feel like I'm in the dark about the whole situation. Well, take, I can't see you. Take that off. Anyway, sir, I just feel like you should answer for some of this because you're you're obviously you're sitting there and you're being a yes man and a no man and pretty much a dickless bastard wonder. Excuse me, you're, sir. You're not I doing. Think you need to leave. I might. I you you better believe I'm gonna leave. But I'm not going to do so until I get some satisfaction. And that means service or refund. You, sir. You're not getting a fucking refund. Okay. What the fuck are you Well, and I expect 69 straight free days here. Anything that will compensate me for this horrific stay that I've experienced here in your hotel. Well, if you don't like your stay, you're more than welcome to leave. Um... You don't have to come back here. I hope you do, but please just leave Spider-Man. All right. You just expect, leave Spider-Man. You expect to get some bad reviews on Yelp and don't even get any started on what's going to happen with you and the better beer. Better, better business beer. beer. Oh. That's see. better Spider -Man. business beer, you son of a bitch. Just walk crawl out of here, Spider-Man. Can't even speak. Goodbye. I'll never stay at this goddamn hotel again. <laughs> what the hell was that, George? Anyway, that's how we get rid of them. We get their money. It doesn't matter afterwards. What do you mean? We get their money. It doesn't matter afterwards. Right. If they pay their deposit, we get their money. They can be as boohoo as they want to be. That's true. Click. Oh! <laughs> I'll put a ball in his cart. Goddamn good job. Put a nail on the back of his tire, but you beat me on that one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boom! <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah.